it's estimated that 5.7 million Americans have Alzheimer's dementia in 2018. The Alzheimer's Association identifies a number of early signs and symptoms. They really are worth reviewing. Now, for every one of these signs, there are typical age-related changes not attributable to Alzheimer's. It might be a matter of degree. The Alzheimer's Association provides a chart marking the difference between Alzheimer's and typical age-related changes. I hope that this helps. Signs of Alzheimer's and dementia, poor judgment and decision-making, typical age-related changes, making a bad decision once in a while, signs of Alzheimer's and dementia, inability to manage a budget, typical age-related changes, missing a monthly payment, signs of Alzheimer's and dementia, losing track of the date or of the season, typical age-related changes, forgetting which day it is and remembering it later, signs of Alzheimer's and dementia, difficulty having a conversation, typical age-related changes, sometimes forgetting which word to use, signs of Alzheimer's and dementia, misplacing things and being unable to retrace steps to find them, typical age-related changes, losing things from time to time, so if, if you or someone you know is concerned about the warning signs, schedule an appointment with your doctor. Early detection may provide treatment options that help you to maintain a level of independence longer. My generation, America's baby boomers, now range in age from 54 to 74. Given that about 5% of Americans aged 71 to 79 have some form of dementia, baby boomers interested in future medical treatment advances for controlling Alzheimer's disease and other dementias will only grow. I'm Mike Hackard of Hackard Law. We represent elders and their families in estate trust and elder financial abuse litigation throughout California's major urban areas, including Los Angeles, Sacramento, Alameda, Santa Clara, and San Diego. Thank you for listening.